happened with Brian? Oh my gosh, guys. Brian's awesome. Um, he got trapped in the basement? What? No, guys. Um, I know a lot of people have been saying a lot of things about Brian right now. Um, I don't want to speak for him because that's not my position to do that. And I don't know what he's comfortable with me saying and not saying, but there's some people that are trying to say some terrible things about him. He messaged me, like, I, I don't, I, like I said, I don't want to speak for him. But a lot of things that are being said are not true. People are saying that just because his name is Brian, that he's someone that he's not. The person that they're calling him, he's not the same age as them. He literally proved this to me in messages, like, showed me, like, like, stuff that... It's like, I don't know what he's okay with me saying and not saying, because I haven't, like, heard back. But I feel really bad for him that I feel like... And some of the people trying to frame them, guys, are literally people that are scary. They send me messages, like, every day, telling me terrible things, like, telling me, Do this, do that, you're so ugly, you stupid b-word all you do you're a disgraceful b-word like and like those are some of the people trying to spread these rumors like they're not credible sources they're pulling this stuff without any actual thing to go on so i feel really bad i don't feel like he deserves that i don't feel like anyone deserves that how do i know it's not him because he literally sent me stuff that shows that it's not um, he showed me stuff showing like his real birthday and stuff, which I'm not gonna expose obviously because that's like Not my position. He's like half the age of the person they're comparing him to. They don't live in the same town They have different jobs. It's like from what he showed me very clearly not the same person So that's how I know and I feel really bad for him because I don't feel like anyone deserves that Oops did he tell you why he's in Venom's stream? Not exactly, guys. Like, I haven't heard back from him, so, like, I hope he's okay. But he told me some of the stuff that was going on that I wasn't even aware of. I haven't really been reading Reddit, so, like, I wasn't even aware that this stuff was being said. But he sent me stuff privately that shows, like, stuff that really, really, really makes him look innocent. Like, again, I feel weird talking about it where it's a lot of, like, private stuff, but... There's just like people that are actually really terrible towards me. Like they send me awful emails every day. They threaten my mods, they threaten other people, they call them false things too, that are really trying to like frame him as somebody that he isn't. And I feel like that's terrible to do to anyone. So I really am sorry that that's going on. And that's why I'm talking about that. You don't know about any of this, honestly, same until like recently and I feel really bad about a lot of it happening. I feel like it's really unfair. We won though guys, we won. That was a good mercy. They were really helpful with healing me. So that was cool. Um, okay. Yay, we won. Thank you for the bits, Michael. As of now, I think it's hearsay and ever since the one is Jack shit, some it's not even hearsay because like he showed me stuff loyal fans are not great people and i don't want to judge anyone because that's how i feel that's why like said, she said situation i never want to not give people the benefit of the doubt and as of right now guys i really do believe brian um because he sent me stuff like that like i said i don't feel like it's my position to speak for him and i would never want to accidentally i haven't heard back from him so i wouldn't want to say anything that accidentally made him uncomfortable but I'll just say that he showed me like identification, like actual stuff that really seems to show that he is a different person, that he is not that same person. They're not the same age. They don't live in the same town. And I feel like, you know, I can never 100% know who people are in line, guys. I know sometimes there's going to be people that come in my stream that unfortunately do not end up being the best people. But I feel like sometimes like that comes out about one person and then people want to try to frame like all my fans as like bad people. And like I said, I can never like 100% always know who everyone's going to be. Like I hate that sometimes there can, people can do really bad things and you can't always know about them. But from what I've seen, it really seems like Brian is innocent and in this from like what he showed me. I can't believe that ever came back, but it's very much not true. Yeah, James, have you been seeing this stuff? Like, I'm kind of just finding out 
Thank you, Picado, for the bits. I believe Brian is not the same person. Too. I hope he does too. Like I apologized to him. I was like, I'm so sorry because he showed me stuff that it really, really appears that they're not the same person. And I don't know if that's why he hasn't been in stream, but if that is the case, I feel really, really, really bad about that. Um, I can't believe that um that stuff ever came back, but it's very much not true. The review people have been referencing lately was made by a one-day-old account on Yelp and a Twitter account that had already been harassing others. DM me that review literally the day after it was made. That's crazy, James. Oh, Yeah, it's all so sketchy. And some of you guys, like, listen, he's gonna get mad at me for saying this. <gasps> not Brian. Um, please eat some food. I'm praying for you. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm not really eating right now, but I'm fine. But thank you for the prayers. I got messaged that review months ago, but it looked obviously fake, so I just ignored it. Yeah, guys, like, I'm pretty sure, but Brian told me he doesn't even work at a hotel. So it's obviously just somebody trying to start up trouble, and this is gonna make the person mad. I'm gonna get more emails, like, oh my gosh, you stupid, disgraceful B-word, like, I get these every day from this person, but one of the people trying to frame him is, like, somebody that has actually been, like, harassing me in emails for, like, every day he sends me multiple emails. He just, like, he kind of invented this relationship in his head, I think. It's, like, crazy. Um, he gets mad at me because I don't play the games that he wants, because I don't do what he wants me to do on stream, and, like, somehow he thinks that, like, like, no, it's not one Hangry Jack, it's someone totally different. No, not the person who came to my house. I don't know who that person is. Um, but this person is also involved in trying to frame Brian. I can't block him, guys. He makes a zillion emails. Like, he emails me from different emails every day. He emails me from different names. He's on Twitter. Um, he's on Twitter. And Twitter, he poses as tons of different people. He's also on Twitter as one of the people that is trying to, like, you know, frame Brian. I'll just say the account, because it's like, he's already doing this to other people. If you guys see, like, some Ben Kramer account, like, I don't even think that's that person's real name. That's literally the person that's emailing me every day. He has other Twitter accounts. He goes and harasses, like, anyone that knows me, all of my mods. He goes and does this. Law enforcement can't do anything, guys. The thing is, he hasn't done anything to, like, physically harm me, and I don't think he would, like, to be fair. Um, but they can't do anything about it. As of right now, it's just kind of, like, you know, it's just kind of been words. There's not really anything the police can, like, do about it. But he's been doing this stuff on Twitter. He emails me every day just telling me how, like, disgusting I am and how I disgraced him and... Like, I literally get- I, I wouldn't be surprised if I get an email any minute now, guys, because, like, um, it's been going on for, like, a long time, and he tries to frame, like, all these people. He's convinced that there's people in my stream that, like, aren't here. Um, like, it's- it's weird. Like, he thinks that, like, old mods of mine are, like, other YouTubers and stuff that they're not. It's like, it's, it's very, very weird. He harassed me too. I had to block him. I'm so sorry I danced straight. I hope you don't have to deal with him under any other accounts because he harasses like a lot of my fans. Um, he's been, he used to be nice in my streams, guys. Like he's somebody that used to be in a lot of my streams, um, and used to support me, but then I guess I kind of didn't do what he wanted and he attacks like a ton of my fans. He attacks my mods, he attacks me every day, he says mean things about my family, um, and every day I just have to listen to how ugly I am, how disgusting I am, um, how, like, what was the newest thing that I'm gonna do? He told me, he always tells me I'm gonna, like, do an apology stream for him and that this will happen. Um, he says that I'll crawl on the ground like the pathetic snake that I am while eating a sub sandwich and drinking a soda while saying you apologize to me and one of my old moderators for our names not being on this list. And then it's like some sub gifter list with like top sub gifters because he used to gift a lot of subs, which I never made him do. He chose to do that on his own. Everyone on it will be gone except one fan of mine that I guess he's okay with being here. But worse for a YouTuber that he seems to think is involved in all this stuff he invents in his head that's not going on. 
Uh, you piece of fucking shit. <laughs> this is like, what are we, what are you, the kind of stuff he emails me every day under a million different names and... Like, like I said, now he's also trying to like frame my fans as like people that they're not. So it's like, I don't know guys, I don't know why he does this, like... I think like he probably has his own problems, um, and I feel bad about that. I do hope that like one day maybe he gets whatever kind of help that he needs. Um, because, like, I feel bad that, you know, somehow I made him so upset, or, like, all that, but the reason I'm kind of, like, talking about it now, especially, and, like, I guess just really, like, openly, like, saying whatever, is because now he's attacking, like, somebody that was, like, a really, really big supporter of mine, and I feel like is starting all this unnecessary trouble for him. He's having to be framed as someone that he isn't. And I don't feel like he deserves that. I feel like that's really wrong for anyone to have to, like, go through that. Um... So that's why, like, especially now, I just want to say something about it because it's not only about me. It's, like, it's affecting somebody that didn't do anything. That, like, isn't somebody from, like, what they showed me, they're not that person, you know? They don't deserve to be having to go through this. So I feel really bad about that. And I don't know, like, I'm sorry that this person seems to think that I'm such, like, a piece of shit and, like... You know, that I'm, I, I'm, I'm so ugly and I'm so this and that and I'm like the worst person ever, but it's like, it's just like, I don't know. It's like when it starts affecting other people, it's like I feel really bad about that. So yeah. That's why I like just feel really bad. He's mentally ill and unhinged. Don't listen to him. Thank you. I try not to. It's just like I said, you guys, it's like... Sometimes it makes me feel bad having to read these emails like every single day <laughs> and he literally tells me what a terrible person I am and like like what a disgrace I am and just like all this stuff and sometimes it makes me feel bad but where I'm especially feeling like like bad about it is like now that I'm seeing like you know someone else like getting framed and like getting false allegations about them and I feel like that's so unfair. So that's where like, I'm especially feeling like really bad about it and kind of why I want to talk about it. He seems very controlling. Yeah, no, he wants to like control my whole stream. It's like, if I don't like do what he wants, if I don't like play the games he wants and like makes the videos he wants, like he goes crazy at me. It's like, it's, it's really, really crazy. What were the allegations? Creepy allegations. Like I feel bad because they're not true. So in a way it's like, I feel bad even like talking and like, spreading false info, but they were saying all this creepy stuff with kids and like a hotel and stuff like weird stuff. Um, thank you, Tony, you for the bits. To make you the bad guy, they start making things up. Yeah, crazy. exactly, Tony. And it's like, this person has been doing this for a long time. I don't reply to like their messages, but they just like, don't stop. And now I'm just feeling like especially bad. Like, you know, like when I see them go after like you guys or like some of my biggest supporters, it's like, I just feel like that's when this like especially gets like really unfair. And you know, guys, like that's why I'm talking about it. And I really hope that this per that, that you know, um, this person stops. <laughs> Thank you, Michael, as for the bits. As he needs help. I think at this point, that guy should go to prison because he won't. I stop. mean, that's the thing is like, he just hasn't been stopping and it's been going on for such a long time. And where I'm feeling especially bad is seeing like other people being affected. What the effort drops, they're basically like skins and sprays and just like cool prizes that you guys can get for Overwatch. So yeah. Okay guys, so this is cool. Is this like an icon? 